I can't not look at myself. <laughs> I look <laughs> huge next to you because I'm close to the camera. Okay. Quite left handed. No, I can't. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a special guest here with me. This is my husband, Patrick Bradshaw. And we're doing the Writer's Significant Other tag. So how this is going to go is I have six questions to ask you. Okay. You are going to answer them to All the right. camera. All right. So first to question camera. to the camera. Yeah. Okay. So the first question is more of a request. Introduce yourself. What is your name and what do you do? My name is Patrick. I am the husband of Rayleigh. My husband. What do I do? Like... Yeah. I'm a programmer. He's a programmer. He does all the music for my channel. He wrote and plays and sings all of it. Older um, stuff. He's a musical man and a programmer. And that's it. I'm into finance right now on my own time. Is what do you think I do as a writer? I imagine that you, one, produce outlines for your stories that you write. Mm -hmm. And that you work on those stories until you have what is a final product in a book. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know exactly what I'm doing all day. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're on the computer and sometimes you're filming yourself. Yep. <laughs> what is your favorite and your least favorite part about me being a writer? Um, I think it's the same for like me being a programmer. It's that I feel like I share in your victories. I love supporting you and for you to be making progress. That's exciting to watch because I, a part of me feels like I can live vicariously through that. Since I'm working most of the time, I don't get to play like music as much. So that's that's a really great part. I think the only bad parts are like, like I said, the same as me being a programmer. Sometimes you get really into what you're doing and it feels like, where is all my attention? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. But, but it's, yeah. it's true. Yeah, it's the same thing with both him. Ways. Mm -hmm. We both are on the computer a lot, ignoring each other a lot. But then we do fun stuff too. Yeah. And it's fun. I can talk to him about my writing. You try to talk to me about your coding. Yeah. And I try to listen. <laughs> yeah. What is your best writing advice? And Patrick is actually a very good writer himself. Thank you. My best writing advice? Jeez. Write about something that, like, you care about. Care about your characters. Care about the... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, write about what you care about. <laughs> care about the thing that you're doing. If you care about it, you will, you will take it a lot further than if you didn't. Sometimes if I, if I try to write a song that, like, clearly is just me trying to mess around... Actually, sometimes that's really good, too. Last night, we were talking about how, as a writer of books, I feel like I have to do a little bit every day to keep those muscles exercised. So I asked him if he's the same way when he writes his music. Like, does he work on it consistently every day, or is it something that he just writes a song when it comes to him magically, randomly out of the blue? Yeah, it is a process. And I think, like, when people interview writers, that's what ends up coming out anyways. Like, they talk about a process that they go through to, to write stories. Because, like, in a song, or when I used to write a lot of short stories, the process is probably not as intense as, like, a novel. But, like, you, I still have to get into the mood of it, or, like, I need to get into the, the spirit of it. So sometimes that meant, like, I needed to go to a coffee shop and sit down and, like, observe things, or, like, I had to listen to some a certain kind of music but writing like any creative endeavor I think there is a process that you need to find in order to crank out a story or like a bunch of songs or what have you there's a process Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> good job can you describe or sum up the story that I'm currently working on <sighs> we was all <laughs> Each one in our hearts, a cowboy, <laughs> rooting, two, two. <laughs> He's making my website for me, and he needed a quote for my book and didn't have one, so he made one up, and that was the quote. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> no, but now you have to sum up my book, for real. 
Oh, uh, it's about a girl who she is. She was pulled out of school by her father, who's really controlling, and she didn't want none of that. <laughs> so she took and R U N N O F T D out of there. You know, dressed like a dressed like a boy, and ganged up with a group of cowboys and went on an adventure. 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 Patrick is reading my book right now. Google is reading it for me. <laughs> Google's reading it. Yeah, he listens to like a speech to text reader read it to him. Yeah, yeah. it's convenient. Yeah. Um, other writers, if your significant other has a hard time reading your work, then you can recommend that they listen to it on a speech to text. Text to speech. Text to speech, yeah. Text to speech, because it makes it easier for them. At voice. Patrick on uses at voice on Android. You can't get it on iPhone. I can't get it on iPhone. But another good one is Natural Reader online. It's free, and you can just use it on the internet. Anyways, what is some marketing advice you have for spreading the word about my book? Wow, I'm not the person to ask for that. Well, you used to sell your music. You sold um, a bunch of CDs once upon a time. Well, if it's good, if you feel like your book is really good, which obviously you would if you're trying to sell it. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> but as long as you're putting it out in front of people, I don't know. That's how it was with music. Like, I would go stand on corners and, like, play my songs. But I can't really do that with my book. Stand on a corner and read it out loud. I could. Yeah, but you could go to, like, a now. bookstore or something. I don't know. There, I don't know how many small book shops there are anymore. But people like, you know, they bring their books and like a table and they sit at some bookshop. If you're networking, if you're like meeting other people who are writing books or like who are interested in promoting books, there are people who like their identity is to promote creative work. So if you're out there like in the arena, eventually you'll be able to find like, well, who, who is my book reaching or what sorts of markets are there for my work? Okay, so like for my Western, where would I market that? I don't know. <laughs> Amazon? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, how do I market on Amazon, though? Because I'll, I'll have the book on Amazon, but how do I market it so that people can find it? Well, Amazon has its own thing. Like, you would sign up to Amazon, and you would make the book your product, and then you would put money towards, like, okay, when people see cow, like, horse saddles, I want my book to show up right there and say, like, Think Root you like oh, horse <laughs> horse saddles? Check out this book. You okay. know. Okay. So paid advertising. So there's paid advertising, but like I don't know. With music, it was like literally about playing live. So I'm like, maybe you could like read your book out loud on a corner and like have a stack of your books <laughs> next to you. There's that crazy book lady <laughs> trying to sell her westerns. <laughs> But eventually, one of those people who are like, crazy book lady, they'll be like, well, what's she got to say? Mm, Mercedes McBride, she's quite a character. <laughs> yeah. I'll take one of your books. You know, have a stack of your books and just leave them at Barnes & Noble or something. Just put them on the shelf like they belong there. <laughs> yeah. But then, when people try to buy them, it wouldn't ring up as anything at Barnes & Noble. And then, they would get free books. Or, or the cashier <laughs> will be like, you know what, we don't sell that. And they just... Keep it. And then the cashier would read it and be like, but maybe we should. Yeah. And then they would request it. But like back home, I lived in a smaller town. Like you, there were little bookshops. You would go talk to the clerks and say like, I have a book that I just released. Yeah, because they usually in like smaller bookstores, they usually have a local shelf. Yeah. From local writers. Yeah, I thought of that too. And like when we went to Moab a few weeks ago, we went to Arches National Park and we went to a little bookstore there and they had a whole shelf of westerns and then they also had a shelf of local writers and a lot of those books were westerns. So I thought, hey, when my book is done, I could probably come in here and be like, hey, I'm a local writer and I wrote a western and it would go on, it could fit on either one of these shelves. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, you should probably try to talk to a local writer and ask them how they market their books. Because I'm sure there are, are a ton in, in Salt Lake City, first of all. Yeah, I'm sure there are. Who are not like published conventionally or nationally. Traditionally. Traditionally, but they would be able to tell you, like, this is how I sell my book. I imagine too that you can meet uh, an English professor at the community college and they would be able to tell you. Yeah, you gave lots of, lots of advice there. Many pieces. I'm very old. <laughs> Very wise. How old are you, Patrick? 
not. <laughs> that's not a polite question. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was all the questions, anyways. <laughs> so, do you have anything else that you would like to share with the author tube community? No. Nope. Any thoughts? Words of wisdom? Nah. Requests? Questions? Entertainment? Are you going to play a song? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> play a song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing I have this. <gasps> oh. I don't know what to play, let's see. What's a western sounding song? the needle come and do? I don't know. The needle came and touched me. A porcupine came and poked this cactus hat. Let me finish what I start, babe. Open up your heart, babe. Also a land of milk and honey. We need to introduce our child, Simon. And this is our Simon. He just woke up from a nap. We are the Bradshaws. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Patrick, for joining me on my channel. Of and course. if you want to see more of Patrick in my videos, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and maybe I can convince him to be in more stuff. Bad chance. Bad chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Come and take a walk with me We'll cross over the mountains and We'll reach the pale blue sea I love you I'm so glad